Oh, a beautiful start to the day along the railway path there to the sound of chiff chaffs and woodpeckers so now the, the climbing starts for heading up into Glen Tarkin now Uh, trying to make sure we give the sheep and lambs some space. There's plenty of room to move around them here. Ah, lovely. So this is uh, Glen Tarkin here, and the aim is to start wild walking up the side there. It's good to just stop and listen to that silence like it stopped the even just the sound of the walking uh, just seems so loud when you stop it's magically quiet so that's us left the track down there we're now heading up here it's quite funny i had to stop for a wee call of nature there haven't seen anyone nearly all morning, apart from the forestry worker at the start, but um, <laughs> what happens, uh, along comes a Land Rover. Ben Morden stopped in and over there and uh, oh, we're, we're gonna head head for that corbett over there um, you can see over towards uh, Loch Tayway now down over there that's uh, Ben Vorlich across to Ben Lawyers now. Can't see the lock. Good for you. <laughs> to be fair when I when I picked this route I did try and keep on the, the crests because Usually the heather's a little bit easier, shorter cropped with a kind of wind. But, uh, like this is much easier here. But I got sucked down into that <laughs> water course because it's easier to walk in the green, the, the green stuff. But then I had to bash up through that thick heather. This is much easier, look at this. That's what we want. So now we can see down into the loch or down onto the loch I should say and uh, that's looking back where we came over with uh, Ben Vorlich poking out behind and that's Craig Dagger over there and uh, Ben Holmesy over on the shoulder there so that's where we're heading next at least it looks a bit grassier over that way so that should help So you'll probably notice I'm not carrying the full camping gear this time um, and uh, well I'm quite pleased with how that training's been going anyway and I've decided to give myself a wee break from that and um, this is a much longer day this is about 26 well 
I've measured it as 26 miles, we'll see what it actually ends up being. Um, it's going to be a long day regardless. So I thought, what's the main objective here? The main objective is to have a bit of fun um, and also to try and toughen my feet up uh, a little bit because I have been getting blisters uh, with these training walks and I never used to get blisters at all. But then I used to run like 70 odd miles each week so uh, <laughs> these days uh, that's not happening so yeah softened up trying to pick my route up there the left side looks nice and grassy my original plan was to head up this, this way but I don't think it matters but I think I'll stick to my original plan You crack me up then. <laughs> Preemptively getting getting all the wee bits of heather out. They don't have build fences in stupid places, huh? Right, like this way. Good boy, good. Right, let's go left here for Left then. Good boy. Well, this is a bit easier, isn't it, then? Definitely a very remote feel about here. Probably because it's very remote. Slowly. Good boy. chilled down a wee bit now the sun's uh, going behind some clouds but we're now on a track for the next wee bit down into Glen Almond So that's just done 16.2 miles, um, still really enjoying it, you know, it's uh, my feet are in good nick, so um, yeah, it's a good job I'm still enjoying it because I've still got over 10 miles to go, but Seems like an appropriate place and time to stop and have some lunch with the sun shining. I forgot to bring something for the dog, so he's going to get half of mine. <laughs> yes, you are. 
Good, good boy. Hats on, hats off. Good lad. That's Kenmore. It's about eight miles to go still. That must be Beniglo, and it's very hazy. It was clearer earlier, but you can just make out the snow on the Cairngorm Plateau. Fantastic. So that's us down onto track. I think it's pretty much uh, track all the way. To Kenmore now, a little bit of road walking at the end. Good day out though. I think, you know, I think, well, I know it's not finished yet, but the highlight for me was walking along the, the top bridge there. Just the view, you know, you could see for miles in west, north, east. Well, it was a bit hazy, but it didn't matter, it was lovely. Can't see a bloody thing. I feel like I've earned a pint. It's a pity. Do you want to sit in the he squeaked when I said, Are you coming to see John? Didn't you? Yeah, happy boy. Never believe this. The distance that's just come up 26.19. Then we've got to do another 0 0.01. I'm joking. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs>